Welcome you 9 all OMC girls. Today I'll be talking about a radioisotope of my choice. A radioisotope is simply a chemical element that has an unstable nucleus that emits radiation during its decay to a stable form. Iodine-131 is a highly radioactive, unstable form of iodine. There are four extra neutrons in the nucleus, causing it to be unstable. Iodine-131 also has a half-life of just eight days. It is used in medicine. Iodine-131 emits two different types of radiation, beta radiation and gamma radiation, which are the two strongest rays. It produces a majority of beta radiation, which can be stopped by a thin sheet of aluminium. Beta particles can also penetrate the dead skin layer, potentially causing burns. 90% of the damage is given from beta radiation. Iodine-131 produces a small amount of gamma radiation, which is a high energy electromagnetic radiation. Gamma rays penetrate tissue farther than beta or alpha particles. The other 10% is gamma radiation. The gamma radiation can sweep right through the whole body and can be only stopped by a thick piece of concrete or lead. Iodine-131 is associated with nuclear energy, medicinal diagnostic and treatment procedures. It is used to treat thyroid cancer and other thyroid diseases. It is consumed in a liquid or capsule form. The thyroid is the only cells in your body that absorb iodine, so no other tissue will be damaged by the radioisotope. The thyroid is one of the body's regulators, controlling the metabolism. The thyroid can be overactive and can cause cancer. Iodine-131 helps an overactive thyroid. The radioactive iodine dose destroys part of the thyroid gland so that the remaining thyroid functions at a normal level. That is how iodine-131 is used in medicine. There are many benefits of using iodine-131. Iodine-131 is often used to treat conditions such as Graves' disease and thyroid cancer, which both have symptoms of enlarged lymph nodes in the neck give difficulty in breathing or shortness of breath and the swelling up or having a lump in the throat. Also, this treatment is a painless treatment which makes it better, much better than having a surgery to get this cancer in the thyroid removed. There are also some downsides to iodine-131. There is suppression of the bone marrow which can result in anemia and reduction in white blood cells. With large doses, it can also emit radiation sickness which gives nausea, vomiting, chest pain, increased heart rate, itchy skin, and other minor problems. When it comes to using iodine-131, the advantages of using this radioisotope outweigh the disadvantages. This is because iodine-131 is a less painful, less invasive, and much cheaper alternative to surgery. It has saved numerous amounts of people's lives. Therefore, it should still continue.